The world's largest democracies are boosting defence ties to shape the 21st century. Did you know, for the first time, the European Union has sent a military attaché to India? Beyond discussions on a free trade agreement, the 27-nation bloc is setting its sight on strengthening defence cooperation with the emerging global superpower, India. Europe has held a vital place in India's foreign policy priorities. The European Union is India's second largest trading partner after the United States with a trade value of 120 billion euros in goods for 2022. India in turn stands at EU's 10th largest trading partner accounting for 2% of the group's total trade in goods, which means there is tremendous scope for growth. Trade services between EU and India reached 45 billion euros in 2022. The European Union is also amongst the largest investors in India. However, India has also been weaving a tapestry of defence partnerships with key European nations, including France, the United Kingdom and Germany. The 1980s marked the beginning of India's arms acquisition from Western European nations, including Mirage jets from France, submarines from Germany and Anglo-French Jaguar attack aircraft. India's partnership with France in particular has deepened over the years. France is the 11th largest foreign investor in India and bilateral trade soared to $13.4 billion in 2022-23, with exports from India crossing $7 billion. France is also India's second biggest arms supplier. India's pursuit of 26 Rafale M fighters from France for the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant has further solidified this partnership. Indian Air Force, meanwhile, operates 36 French Rafale jets. In July, India and France announced joint projects for jet and helicopter engines and the construction of three Scorpion submarines for the Indian Navy. Spain has also recognized India as prowess. Both countries stood to enhance trade, cultural exchanges and strategic defense collaborations. In August 2023, Spain exported 127 million euros and imported 417 million euros worth of goods from India. Spain also hailed India for the adept handling of its G20 presidency in a divided world. Not to be outdone, Finland too has thrown its support behind trade agreement negotiations between the European Union and India, with Finnish companies eager to tap into the Indian markets. After two decades marked by highs and lows, the EU-India partnership has entered a new era of strategic convergence. In 2022, the first ever security and defence consultations were seen encompassing cybersecurity, terrorism, maritime awareness, joint exercises and threat assessments. On October 24, 2023, the EU and India conducted their first joint naval exercise in the Gulf of Guinea, with Indian Navy's Iris Sumeda, an offshore patrol vessel and three ships from EU member states. India's role as a key player in the Indo-Pacific aligns with Europe's interests, particularly navigating the complex China question. The rise of China across the Indian and Pacific Oceans challenges the security umbrella, and the EU acknowledges China's assertiveness. As an alternative to China's Belt and Road, India and EU, along with allied nations, have inked the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor initiative to expand economic opportunities and forge a new global supply chain. With this, India and European Union represent a new strategic reality of the 21st century. If you like the video, then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.